Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lindsay. I love reading because reading is what? Fundamental. I'm changing my intro a little bit because I have been devouring RuPaul's Drag Race and that's just the way it's gonna be. So welcome back. I hit 200 subscribers, so thank you so, so, so much. Before I get started into this video, make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I would love to be able to grow my online community. I think it's super fun and I've been able to make some really great friends through the YouTube community as well. So it would mean a lot to me if you were able to hit the subscribe button. This is kind of a get back into the swing of things kind of video. I have been away for a little bit. I really just needed to uh, reassess, recharge, and I think I'm back now. So without further ado, I've got some really great small shop items and I have a few books to go over with you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I will just kind of hit on uh, why I have been gone for a little bit. Um, again, I really just needed to recharge and I really just needed some time on my own. I am a very uh, individual person. I'm definitely independent and really enjoy my alone time. Um, it was my birthday on the 16th of February and I was really just wanting to spend some time to reflect and to see what I can possibly do to uh, just declutter my life a little bit and hopefully have um, a more peaceful going forward without, uh, with for lack of a better term. So uh, yeah, that's what I've spent the last few weeks doing. I haven't filmed in probably about three weeks and uh, now I'm kind of ready to get back into the swing of things. I will say that I am in a huge rut right now. I only read like one and a half books in the month of February, but at the same time, I think I just needed to slow my pace a little bit. I think I read close to 12 books in January and it takes a lot of time, obviously. And I've really been focusing on things that I enjoy doing, not that reading isn't one of them. Reading is probably one of my most favorite things to do, uh, but I've gotten into painting. I've done some puzzles. I'm doing a lot of uh, like color by number kind of things. Um, I'm kind of getting more into different art projects and uh, those just really needed my undivided attention. So I didn't want to do any audiobooks or anything. And uh, yeah, so I only got through one book last month, which was Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. This is the book that I was able to get through. And I have to say, Alison McKenzie, thank you so much for the great recommendation on this one. It was really great. I'm not gonna go too much into it just because I know a lot of people don't like spoilers, but this one follows Macy and Elliot. They were kind of like high school sweethearts or they were uh, boyfriend, girlfriend earlier on in life. Something happened and their life took them into different paths, but Macy comes back to town, I believe, and Elliot's there and uh, they just kind of start reconnecting and he's hoping to rekindle their old feelings. And uh, yeah, I really, really enjoyed this one. I gave it four out of five stars. It was a really great read. I actually finished some of this on audiobook as well. And uh, yeah, I highly recommend both the audiobook and the physical book. It was a very quick read. For the month of March, I feel like I'm really missing out. Uh, so some of my friends, Abby over at the Disney Sisters, Nina over at Wrestling With Books, and Heather over at the Disney Housewife have started a Angela Lansbury Murder She Wrote kind of bookathon. And I'm gonna leave their videos and information down below. But um, I have no TBR for this month, to be completely honest. I'm really just taking it as I go. I am in the middle of one book right now. I haven't watched this series on Netflix, but I was kind of feeling in a fluffier read kind of 
mood. I started reading White Smoke by Tiffany D. Jackson and I just couldn't get into it. Not because it wasn't good, but it just wasn't holding my attention at the time. So I decided to pick up a fluffier book and I'm reading uh, Bridgerton. So this is the first one, I believe. It's The Duke and I and is it Lydia? Daphne, sorry, it's Daphne's story. Uh, so I'm about halfway in. I am mainly listening to this on audiobook. I've found if I'm going on lunch, I'm actually going for a little bit of a walk. Um, I just started it this week. It's not like anything crazy, but um, yeah, I've been enjoying kind of getting outside and getting some more fresh air and I have been listening to the audiobook the last couple of days. So I am enjoying it. Probably won't continue with the series unless things pick up. I'm just not finding historical fiction is floating my boat anymore, but I am very happy to be able to finish this one. So yeah, so for the month of March, I have no reading plans whatsoever. I'm just gonna kind of pick up whatever I want, um, which kind of brings me to what the channel is kind of turning into. Um, I don't really know how often I'm going to upload. Obviously, I will still keep you guys updated on my reads and readathons if I'm liking anything, different kind of ideas that I that I have for the future. Uh, but I just I don't want to stick to certain uploading schedules because it just really deflates my love and enthusiasm for something. So I'm just going to kind of play it by ear. Obviously, I definitely want you guys to stick around and I do have some great ideas coming up, uh, but I just don't want to hold myself to a schedule that I know is going to put me into a bit of a slump. So just a heads up as of right now, um, I normally upload on Mondays and Thursdays. That's how it had been for the last little bit uh, before Vlogmas and all of that kind of stuff. But uh, I'm just going to kind of take a little bit more of a, a slow going approach going forward for right now. The next couple of things that I wanted to go over were some small shop items. I was able to purchase a couple of shirts from Blossom and Book. So this is their information there. It's a really great small shop that I found on um, on Instagram and I really, really enjoy just kind of like the fonts and the styles of their merchandise. So I bought a couple of shirts. The first one is kind of like a suede or like a deeper brown color. I really like this one. And it is surround yourself with books and be happy. I really enjoy this one. This one is a little bit of a longer shirt. Um, so it makes kind of like a good night shirt for me. Or if I'm just kind of doing some running around, I'll just throw on some leggings, put this on with a jean jacket and it looks really, really nice. So super happy with this one. I actually just took this one out of the laundry. So got to fold it nicely. And this one is probably my favorite one. It is a really nice maroon color. I am not a Gryffindor, but if I was, this would be my favorite shirt and this one is read more books I just really love that it's kind of like an ethereal folky kind of vibe and I'm really into that I've actually just hung some uh, what do you call those shelves <laughs> I've hung some shelves and I've got some pictures up there and I'm getting into my like plant mom lifestyle so I'm excited and I really enjoy this shirt so happily still shopping small you can get some really great stuff on Etsy on Instagram you just kind of have to go find it so really super duper happy with those items okay so the next couple of items are actually a little book exchange that I did with my friend Kyla I visited her last week probably on the coldest day of the whole winter and uh, I had messaged her a couple of weeks ago letting her know that I had some books that I thought that she might want to read and she's like I've got some books for you too so I was able to get a couple of books from her the first one is by Karen Slaughter it is called Pretty Girls I really like this cover and I actually think that this one was already on my uh, list on Goodreads so super excited about this one it's blurbed by Jillian Flynn or Gillian Flynn. Let me know what you guys say down below. I'm, I'm interested to hear your thoughts. Uh, so she's the author of Gone Girl and uh, Kathy Reichs is the 
um, author of Bones. Like she kind of developed the Bones series on on television. So the back of this one just says sisters, strangers, survivors. It's been more than 20 years since Claire and Lydia last spoke. Claire is the glamorous trophy wife of an Atlanta millionaire. Lydia, a single mother dating an ex-con, struggles to make ends meet, but neither has recovered from the disappearance of their sister Julia two decades earlier, and the shocking murder of Claire's husband brings the horror and heartbreak of the past roaring back into their lives. The vanishing of a teenage girl and the killing of a middle-aged man almost a quarter century apart. What could connect them? As they form a wary truce, the surviving sisters unearth the secrets that destroyed their family all those years ago and find the astonishing truth where they least expected it. So super duper duper excited about this one. And then the next one, I'm going to be completely honest, I've never heard of it. Um, I'm going in with lower expectations because Kyla said that it didn't really float her boat, uh, but I am a huge fan of the front of it. This one is by Peter Swanson and it is called The Kind Worth Killing. I just really like the color blocking on this one and I really enjoy the airplane up here. This one says, on a flight from London to Boston, Ted meets the stunning Lily Kintner. Over martinis, the strangers play a game in which they reveal intimate details about themselves. Ted talks about his wife Miranda, how their marriage has gone stale, how a week ago he caught her in a stunning betrayal. But what begins as playful banter between Ted and Lily takes a swift turn when Ted claims half seriously that he would like to kill his wife. Then Lily surprises him by saying that she'd like to help. Back in Boston, Ted and Lily forge an unusual bond and talk about the ways Ted can get out of his marriage. But Lily has her own dark history she's not sharing with Ted. And Ted is keeping something from Lily too. But as Ted begins to fall in love with Lily, he grows anxious about any holes in their scheme that could give them away. And suddenly the two are pulled into a very lethal game of cat and mouse, one in which both are not likely to survive when all is said and done. So this sounds really good. So I'm excited to kind of read it to talk to Kyla about this one. If you have read this one, let me know in the comments what you thought. Um, it is also blurbed by Lee Child as well. It says chilling and hypnotically suspenseful could be an instant classic. So yeah, thanks Kyla for the books. And finally, I know that I'm on a no buy year and technically I have not done anything that I said that I wasn't going to do. But I did get my February book of the month and I did add two add-ons. But I think because they're $10, I'm going to let it slide. And for some reason, I didn't get charged any duty on this package. So I'm pretty like really excited about that because three books cost me about $20 American, which I would never be able to get here in Ontario. So really super duper excited about that one. Uh, so I've got two thrillers and a uh, romance novel. So the first one that I got was The Dating Plan by Sarah Desai. I believe this is actually the second in this series. I didn't realize that that was the case. So I'll probably have to get the first one out of the library, but this one is super beautiful. I really loved the color of this one. It was a pick from January of 2021. It says, even with a step-by-step -step plan, these fake fiancés might accidentally fall for each other in this hilarious, heartfelt, romantic comedy. So I'm not going to go into it any more than that, just because I don't know if there's spoilers about the first book. So if you have read this series, let me know. I'm very excited to get to this, uh, hopefully spring, summertime. My second add-on was a book that I kind of regretted not getting previously and it is The Maid. I've seen this all over Bookstagram. I've seen it on Booktube. There's a lot of people that love it, a few people that haven't enjoyed it so much. So I'm excited to see what my take is going to be on it. Uh, the author is Nita Prose. All I know kind of about this one, you can kind of see it by the, by the cover as well. Um, this is under Thrills and Chills. I really like that Book of the Month does this. I know that this is kind of turning into a rant but you can kind of see where it says thrills and chills there. So if you were putting this on 
or organizing a shelf with different genres, then kind of goes by this as well. So I really do like that, but I'm trying to keep all of my book of the months together at this point. Um, but this one I believe is about a maid who either finds a murder or watches a murder taking place or she's trying to solve a murder. I'm not really sure, but I used to work in the hotel and customer service hospitality industry and I really like hotel settings. So I'm gonna read this one for sure. And then my actual pick for February, I know Rochelle over at the Dante's also picked this one up. Um, it is by two authors. It's by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen, and it is called The Golden Couple. This one was a February pick, so let's see what it says here. Wealthy Washington suburbanites Marissa and Matthew Bishop seem to have it all until Marissa is unfaithful. Beneath their veneer of perfection is a relationship riven by work and lack of intimacy. Marissa wants to repair things for the sake of their eight-year-old son and because she loves her husband. Enter Avery Chambers. Avery is a therapist who lost her professional license. Still, it doesn't stop her from counseling those in crisis, though they have to adhere to her unorthodox methods, and the bishops are desperate. When they glide through Avery's door and Marissa reveals her infidelity, all three are set on a collision course because the biggest secrets in the room are still hidden and it's no longer simply a marriage that's in danger. This to me, straight off the hop, it makes me think that the therapist might be in this love triangle potentially. Maybe she's already having an affair with Matthew. Interesting. I'm not 100% sure. I normally don't go into book of the month thrillers with super high expectations. I normally rate them around three stars, but a flicker in the dark was like 4.75 stars for me. So I'm hoping that this one kind of leans towards that way as well. Okay, so I think that kind of wraps everything up. Uh, if I have any other updates, I'll let you know. I'm excited to kind of get back into the swing of things for the month of March. It's been kind of really cold and snowy here where I am. I'm right in between Niagara Falls and Toronto. So uh, yeah, we've kind of been getting hit with some snow, but you know, sun is shining, birds are chirping. So I'm pretty much the, the snow white of the area. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, hit the thumbs up button, I should say. And again, if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button as well. I'm excited, like I said, to get back into the swing of things. Thank you very much for everybody who has been able to subscribe. I'm super excited that I was able to hit the 200 mark. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Toodaloo.